Hunter's Starship is built around Biopod, a 2 mana 2 2 death rattle that deals damage equal to its attack to a random enemy. So the bigger we build the starship, the more damage this death rattle is going to deal. And if we hit it with Yelling Yodeler, which triggers a friendly death rattle twice, then we can shoot two big missiles at the enemy. And that's just if we have one biopod, but we can get way more than that if we play a card like Carnivorous Cubicle. It has a battle cry to eat a friendly minion, and then at the end of each of our turns, it spits out a copy of it. So it's very possible for us to build a starship that has like five biopods in it. And then when we target it with Yodeler, that's going to shoot ten missiles at the opponent's board and face. Exarch Nael makes it pretty easy to hit these big starship combos. She's a three mana legendary minion with a battle cry to transform our hero power into tracking. So every single turn, we get to spend one mana to discover a card from our deck. And got ourselves a Hunter Mirror. I don't think I keep any of this. Scout Tracking is a combo, I guess. Maybe I just do that on two. Is it? It's probably not that risky to play this on one, is it? I also don't know if it's really that much value to play it on one, but we'll see. Probably a Reno deck. Oh, another tracking is an insane pickup. Yummy yummy biopod. I do already have a Yodeler. So many Let's take a Zilly. Boom. 2 6 into your 2 2s. Okay, they can kill my claw here. Let's just go ahead and play a couple of dudes. They do pretty well on board here, I would say. So I do have bird watching to go with the scout. Uh, I guess I probably do that. This could belong to a brand new species. Another biopod. I mean, it's pretty hard to pass that up, especially when the ones in play get buffed by bird watching. Unfortunately, a buffed biopod does not grant stats to the starship. But that's okay. Uh, the starship can still get up to, what, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13, and then yodel it. I played around it. Look, everyone. I've never played around that card before in my life, but I did it here. So I should be able to hit the opponent for 26 as soon as turn 8. I mean, assuming they don't have a board, which they probably will. Big 50-50 here. And we whiffed it.
So if I somehow have lethal next turn, I can coin Yodeler. Otherwise, I probably coin Zilliax. Zilliax looks real good here. Even if they make a taunt minion, which they didn't. Oh, I can throw bananas on my starship as well. Uh, I think I'm... I'm always coining here, so at best I can go one banana on my starship. But hey, that's some extra damage. Wait, I was saying this was 26 damage, but this is so much more damage than that. They're just, they're mega dead here. I was thinking it was a single biopod, but it's four biopods. Easy dub. I do like Parrot Sanctuary. I'm not sure if I should like it. it. Seems like it works pretty often, though. There's tracking to go with Scout. Let's go ahead and see what we can pick up here. Dream is a biopod. And we hit the biopod. No way to further abuse the scout, unfortunately. I love when my opponent has twice my mana. I love Niel because for some reason my scout is still in play. So let's get some value. Another biopod. That's disgusting. I need track to help me find some sort of activator for my starship. With this many biopods, even just like a cube or a kraken might be good enough. Rest in peace, Scout. For some reason, you got two cards worth of value and drew a bunch of cards. There's a Yodeler. So... I mean, I can starship them next turn. What if I'm supposed to coin Laser Barrage here? I kill these. I could have killed three, but I'm dumb, so maybe I kill two. This is going to be six power with three death rattles. So six times six, 36 damage. And then, of course, if either of these get put into it, it's a ton more damage. If they don't have a board, 36 is lethal. If they do have a board, then I can at least trade off this biopod, which makes it 
what, eight times eight? Holy shit, that gives me so much more damage. I didn't realize until right now that kill my own stuff was a valid line of play. It's definitely plausible they could just tank up here. So this is 64 damage in increments of 8. So these eat 24. This should be lethal. Wow, what an insane deck I've put together here. Biopod. I often hold Biopod for combos, but if this is Elemental Mage, I can't do that. And it does appear to be Elemental Mage. This might be a turn 5 starship kind of game. It's going to be pretty big. What, 2-2, two, 4-8, two, 7-10 Divine Shield? That's not bad. There's not really much incentive for them to kill it, so maybe I cube it on six. Oh, surely you trade first. Because now Biopod can potentially get a two for one. I actually should have played Dimensional Core here, because uh, it's it probably it likely takes more than one turn to die, so I'd want to get that out early so it'll be dead for my starship on turn five. But maybe they'll kill it. Pretty good chance that they could just like hero power and send something into it. They're playing very defensively. I don't know. Maybe I just fucking cube a dimensional core on five. Maybe I can get a nice value bump out of the divine shield and then replenish it with cubicle. But hey, if they want to play a flame geyser here, that would be okay with me. What? They didn't even play their freaking freaking thing. Well, I think I play this over cubicle. Maybe they wanted to go crazy this turn to set up for card draw guy. Yodeler can be pretty sick. As can an infinite stream of Arcanite defense crystals. Maybe my OTK with Yodeler this game is just gain way too much fucking armor for them to ever kill. Okay, they kill that, but that means Cubicle is surviving. So this sucks, it just gives me Cubicle and tracking. I think I'm just clicking the button. I don't really see how they ever kill me without having played Saroon. Oh shit, it's Saroon. They have used an Overflow Surger already, and I think it's maybe a bit late, but we'll see. What all 
This has two defense crystals and, and a biopod. Oh, I just... I'd probably just yodeler this and kill them. I don't know why they cleared their board for me. It's like they wanted to get yodeled to death. They died, and I had 67 health. Stink City. Let's chill out here. Not much point in coining a biopod, and I think I want to try to combo this biopod, so it's probably just Parrot Sanctuary next turn. Uh, if I really want, I can turn four biopod cubicle. That could definitely be a thing. Last Death Knight I played against was Reno, which did make me want to uninstall the game. So far, nothing they've done makes me think they're not playing Reno. And therefore, nothing makes me think I don't want to uninstall the game. Cubicle might live here. It's pretty insane if it does. Would have rather killed the wand maker, but Cubicle might still survive. And honestly, if Cubicle dies, but the Biopod survives, I can still crack in it, which might be okay. Looks like they can kill it. Draw Strike, or down with the ship, or anything like that. Or a randomly generated card from Natural Talent. Even more fun. I'm being sarcastic, but that wasn't really that powerful. Not the outcome I wanted, but it was fine. As long as they don't have hell, yeah. I don't really care about that. What are you looking like? Seven damage with two biopods. Pretty good. I'm down to make more defense crystals. I'm also down to maybe click this and then crack it next turn. Maybe. I don't know. Depends how likely the two shots from it are to go face. I'm probably just never doing that, actually. I want to click the button before Reno, though. So maybe I do it. I don't know. Probably just comes down to whether or not I draw a playable card. Oh, wow. We're really on the fence about the word playable, aren't we? I, must destroy all. I mean, if I crack this and it hits both of the minions, it's like not even that good. Let's just hit him with the Aridar Brute. I mean, realistically, if they reno this starship, it's, like, not that big of a deal compared to how game-ending reno can be sometimes. Still makes me want to uninstall, but, you know, that's reno for you. Basically, part of its battle cry, make your opponent want to never play the game again. Oh. Oh, nice. Now I can't even play my Zilliax. 
What a fun fucking card. God, I love this video game. Uh, it's so fucking fun getting frost plagued because now I can't yodel my spaceship. Just such a fucking good time. Kill the cube, please. Thank you. Uh, if they don't pop my Kraken, I can yodel it, which is kind of sick. That'll give my opponent a really impressive Reno on the following turn. Maybe I'll make it into their YouTube video. Oh, you're trying to leave it in play, you buffoon. You absolute fucking moron. Unless you don't have Reno in your deck, then I'll take it back and be nice. Sasquatch. I mean, Sasquatch's okay with this. It's mostly just that the other ones are not very impressive. All right, cool mom, get your fucking screenshot button ready. What? That's not Reno. All right. Well, I guess I play Zilliax here. This goes in here, these in here, boom, boom, boom. I think I can push 16 here. They did nerf Wondrous Wand, so they can't draw into Reno here. Looks like my opponent is probably dead. I guess Reska can still ruin this game. Did they already play Reska? They did, right? They stole my cube. Or was that last game? I've played against two of these decks in a row. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Love Biopod. Yes, Ceaseless Expanse. That'll be good in 12 turns. The more I play this deck, the more I don't like playing Biopod unless it's got a combo going with it. And I also love playing N uh, Niel on 3, so that's nice. Boom. Uh, maybe I should have thought more about this. If I had played this here, it could have been a turn 5 biopod cubicle. That would have been strong. This lines up nicely, though. I guess I'll just play a tracking here. Definitely want a yodeler. Another one of those, huh? Let's just simply play a crystal here. It seemed so good for the opponent. Why shouldn't I do it as well? The opponent's kind of slacking on their ramp. They've only got three more mana than me. 
Love another biopod. Uh, definitely very possible that Druid can't kill my cubicle here. I can farm up some pods. Oh. Well, surely that doesn't hit my cubicle. I do have the laser barrage, so I can guarantee to kill the scarier of these. That leaves me with five mana. Probably just scout hero power starship piece. These could belong to a brand new species. Kraken on a biopod could be sick, but at this point I really don't know that I need it. I guess I'll take it, I don't know. Look at this beautiful starship. Three biopods and nine power. 27, possibly 54 damage. Oh, and that one. So, another 12 damage, I think. And the cubicle survives. Well, it's pretty easy to kill these two, then my opponent has 14, which is kind of a lot. I guess it's Sasquatch. I don't really know what I'm doing with Sasquatch. So this is going to be 15. This is going to be 150 damage next turn if I can yodeler it. Is that real? That seems like way too much. But honestly, this thing can freaking tank a starship. But I kind of doubt it can tank it enough. Because this, there's no way this triggers between these. Boom. And then... Nope, this keeps going. I thought that might trigger before the rest of these shots. But uh, they were mega dead. 